what's up everyone same day different video today we're going to be installing the cts cold air intake on my mark 7 gti let's not waste any time let's get right into it so i'm going to be working from the back to the front of the car so first thing i'm going to be doing is installing the silicone coupler that's going to go on the inlet pipe so you got the small side that goes to the inlet pipe this is going to go to the intake hose it comes with the clamp just so you guys know the clamp that this comes with is going to be an eight millimeter instead of a seven so pushing this on push it on all the way make sure you do try to get a good angle because again it is a little hard to get to these clamps that's the only downside but depending on how you angle the clamp and where you put your tool it isn't too difficult it just takes a little bit of wiggling around so I'm gonna do it right back here so let me give you guys a close-up that's where I decided to put the clamp so I was able to tighten it up without a problem it gives you more than enough room to put your tool in and be able to loosen and tighten it so that's going to be the first step is putting on the silicone coupler that goes on the end of the pipe now we're going to install the intake hose for the cts intake next thing we have to install guys is the base for where the intake is going to sit and the filter so it's going to go where the factory location was for the stock so these should just push down the grommets there's one two three Also, that small vacuum line that we took off towards the beginning of the inlet pipe install video, this you need to run up this way because that's going to connect to the bottom of the intake hose right here. So this vacuum line is going to connect to the bottom of the intake hose right there. All right, so we have the vacuum line already installed in place. So now the final thing we need to do is install the clamp here. Installing the filter is pretty self-explanatory, so I think uh, it's pretty simple. I don't really got to explain. Just put it on, and then we're going to tighten up the clamp. Make sure this is tight because you don't want this, obviously, to fall off. Good, nice and tight. I'm just gonna go over the clamps one more time to make sure that everything, even the bottom one that's a pain, just to make sure that it is nice and tight and it is. So everything is in place, everything is nice and tight. So we're good to go. We're gonna do a sound check, see what it sounds like. And hopefully you guys enjoy because this is a super easy mod to do, not super expensive, put smiles on your face and it's a ton of fun to drive once you install one. Now guys, just so you're aware, uh, not that I recommend you do this, but it's not gonna be a big deal for one day. This secondary intake hose right here is gonna go pushed right there where the hole is and a filter is gonna come out, a small one's gonna come out from right there. Only thing is the filter that I ordered is coming tomorrow. So I'm just gonna run it only one day, not a big deal, one day without the filter. Like I said, this is gonna push down right here and then the filter is going to be installed right through there and it's going to hold in place. So only for one day, I'm not going to have a filter on the secondary air injection hose, but that's not a big deal. Again, it's coming in tomorrow. I'm going to be driving the car only for a little bit today. So that is the finished product. Got the inlet pipe. Everything is nice and tight to the hose, to the base. And like I said, this is coming in tomorrow. 
All right, guys, so it's the next day. I received the filter for the secondary air injection hose in the mail. Today is the next day from when I did the intake install. So I only spent one day without having the filter on there, but here it is. So we're gonna go down to the car and install it really quickly and show you what that looks like. So I have the secondary air filter right here, but it's a little too big to fit into the opening that they have on this base so i think for now what i'm just gonna do is take the secondary hose and just push the filter into place because it does fit without a problem i assume so it's a little hard to do this with one hand but oh, yeah so it just clips on there so i think i'm just gonna leave it like this guys i don't think it's really that big of a deal i might just zip tie this down to something down here so it doesn't move around so i'll just do that but that's really how the finished product is going to look i might order a cts one because this one i just got for cheap like 15 20 dollars off of modded euros because the cts one wasn't available but i don't know i might just get the cts one to see if uh it does go in there i'll be honest i'm not 100 percent sure but it's not really that big of a deal And there we have it guys, the first two mods on my Mark 7 GTI, the CTS inlet pipe and the CTS cold air intake. Now as you saw I did break it up into two parts just so that you guys could see how to install the one and then from installing the first one you get to go into the second one. Just breaks it down a little easier for you guys but these two mods are super simple to install. Luckily I had this intake from my S3 from a while ago so I didn't have to go out and buy one for this car. So this is kind of like a free mod that I was able to do to just enhance the driving of the car, make it more fun, sound better. I have so many more mods coming for this car. Exhaust is going to be coming soon. Wheels and tires, suspension. I have a lot of plans for this car. Now, I'm going to go out, do some driving. I'll probably film some of that too, just to see what the car sounds like in the cabin with the new intake. Uh, as you guys saw, um, it sounds really good from the clips that I played before. And don't worry, that secondary air injection hose filter is coming in tomorrow. So I will make a clip be while I'm editing this video showing me just putting that on so you guys don't freak out. It's only gonna be one day without it. Um, I had time today because it's the weekend. Tomorrow I have work, so after work I'll come in, pop the filter on, not a big deal. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you like it uh, the way it sounds because I love it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.